my name is Second and Eight Fourteen, and this will be my reaction to the Nintendo Super Mario Maker 2 Direct. Alrighty, so get the video and let's see what that, that's new here. stuff from the original is coming back, that's good. You decide what goes inside blocks, and where warp pipes should take Mario next. And that's just the tip of the goal pole. You can hide enemies, stack them up high, and biggen them with a super mushroom. Hide coins and pipes, and so much more. By combining a variety of parts, you can do some incredible things. Stuff that isn't even possible in regular Super Mario games. Taking a course you're working on for a test drive is a snap, allowing for rapid fire experimentation. You can change the course theme, whether it's underground, underwater, castle, your choice. Even the game style itself can be altered with options like Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Super Mario World. Complete a course, and if you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership, you can share it with other players online. Super Mario courses are meant to be played, so share yours with the world. And some new features. Time to showcase some of this game's new tools, course parts, and features. Just pick a direction and set the length to create a slope. That's what I saw that It's a beautiful thing, huh? Gentler slopes are an option, too. Really? Everyone's greatest fear, Angry Sun, is here. It holds a perpetual grudge, following and attacking Mario. Snake block. Remember the snake block? I don't know. You can determine its trajectory by freely drawing. And, woo, the blue one's really fast. Hit an on-off switch, and the red and blue blocks will swap. You'd be surprised how many uses there are. If you use them wisely, you can set up traps like this one, or even create a situation like this. Change tracks, or make conveyor belts change directions. Seesaws tilt left to right under Mario's weight. Mm. They're a perfect fit for risky, tilt-centric courses like this one. Let it grab you. Mm. Build momentum. <coughs> Jump. Mario can even use these to send himself flying. Huh. Bet you could even make a crane game. <laughs> In this course um, theme, you can freely set the water level. Water level. Maybe half the course should be underwater. Or maybe the water level should change over time? You can select from three different speeds. And water isn't the only thing you can slide a course with. <laughs> this side scroller is truly customizable, right down to the scrolling itself. In a custom scroll course, you can decide where you want the scroll to start, adjust its trajectory, and set the speed at each point. The result is nice and smooth while you're playing. You could have it go up here, then go sideways. Hey, that's fast. You can now create vertical sub-areas. Of course, the auto-scroll feature operates vertically in here. To hide an area from view and prevent scrolling from revealing it, create a solid line of blocks perpendicular to the scroll direction. And voila! 
secret room. Bonsai Bill looks like it's coming for Mario, because it is. You can select from the four cardinal directions. The red ones have a homing function. Watch out! Even lava doesn't phase the dry bone shell. Play dead for a sec, and you'll be temporarily invincible. Mm. The 10 coin is worth death 10 points. Find hard to reach areas. Tempt players. Feeling charitable? Use the 30 or 50 coin. Mario may just be strolling along with a sudden sound effect. There are a bunch in Super Mario Maker 2. Stick one on an enemy, or perhaps go with something more sinister. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, and you can create a course together on a single screen. Ooh. A little creative collaboration goes a long way. Collect 50 coins. Defeat all the dry bones. Reach the goal as Super Mario. You can set clear conditions, and there are a wide range to choose from. From enemies to allies to items, a twister will suck up anything. Oh. Unsuspecting passersby will fall victim to the icicles. Oh, hey, conveyor belts can go diagonal too. Did you know Red Yoshi's breathe fire? Parachutes slow down the falling speed of anything attached to them. Watch out for Boom Boom. The mad lad will chase after you, swinging his arms and legs. And there's still more to discover. If you're not sure how to use something, try out story mode. Story? In story mode, Mario sets out to help rebuild Princess Peach's castle. And to do so, he'll face an entire game's worth of courses in search of coins. Talk to the Taskmaster to accept a job from the bulletin board and play the associated course. If Mario can clear the course, he'll earn coins as a reward. Hey, rebuilding a castle ain't cheap. There are more than 100 original courses crafted by Nintendo in story mode, showcasing a variety of tools, course parts, and features. As you play, you'll see many examples of expert course design. Mm. As the castle's reconstruction progresses, Mario will be able to reach more areas in and around the construction site. The characters you meet in these new areas may even offer up additional jobs. New sequel, new course themes, the desert, snow, Interesting. Deep ice, forest, <laughs> and sky. There's new music too, written by veteran Super Mario composer Koji Kondo. Who else could capture the classic sound of the Super Mario series? We've also got a new course part that makes these course themes even more fun. The moon. Tap this icon here and day becomes night. If you hit the angry sun, Mario will lose a life. But if you hit the moon, you'll wipe out a screen full of enemies. At night, expect a surprise or two, depending on the theme. In the ground theme, Goombas will float. The underground will turn upside down. In a ghost house, the lights will dim. And in the sky, gravity itself will be reduced. The Ooh. desert will get hit by a sandstorm, while the terrain of the snow theme will become really slippery. Ooh. And the forest's usually pleasant waters will be as poisonous as they come. <laughs> Rumor has it that some items will even transform into something else come nightfall. Once you've unlocked the night versions of themes, you don't have to place the moon course part to use them. Indeed. The Super Mario 3D World game style is finally available. The way this game style works is very different from the other game styles, so the course you're working on will clear if you toggle between them. That's because there are things you can do here that you can't do in any other style. You can't mention Super Mario 3D World without Cat Mario. Climbing walls, scratching, sliding, bouncing. With all these moves at your disposal, the courses you create will instantly stand apart from courses made in the other game styles. You can even climb up the goal These clear pipes can be placed in any shape you like. Be careful, though. Enemies will make 
make use of them as well. Crates float on water and lava, so you can make your own path when there's no platform to walk on. If you come in contact with a warp box, you won't be able to escape its pull. You may get warped to an area full of enemies. Consider yourself warned. <laughs> Better not touch the spike block. You could combine it with the on-off switch to set traps like this one, too. That's nice. The exclamation mark block extends when hit. Ground pound to expand it faster. Blinking blocks phase in and out. Make sure to carefully time those jumps. The track block will follow any paths you draw. The blue one won't move until you step on it. The mushroom trampoline yields a satisfying bounce. The piranha creeper will extend wherever you draw. Watch out for its spiky stem. Skip squeaks like to try and match Mario's jumps. Sometimes you can use that to your advantage. Take this sweet ride for a spin to really tear through the course. Just try not to crash it. Ride safely now. Beware the Lord of Lava, Charbard. This monster's obsessed with gobbling up Mario. Pom poms smoke bombs onto the scene. This ninja's mastered the art of a doppelganger. Uh, which one's the real one? The bonsai bill from Super Mario 3D World can actually fly toward the screen. It's so powerful, it can break through walls. Many other familiar faces from Super Mario 3D World will liven up this game style as well. Course World is an online hub where players from around the world can share their carefully crafted courses. Ooh. Browse by popular courses, or new courses, or run a search to find what you're looking for. For example, search by tags like puzzle solving, or maybe find some auto scroll courses. Play a course, and you can leave a comment if they're enabled. If you download a course, you can play it anytime, even when you're not connected to the internet. In Course World, each player has a maker profile. If other players like your courses, you'll earn maker points. But on top of being successful, why not be stylish? Customize your look with things like shirts and hats that you unlock by completing various objectives. Test your skills by trying to clear as many courses as possible before you get a game over. Select a difficulty, and courses will be queued up at random from the full collection available on Course World. Secure some truly impressive scores, and you might earn a top spot on the leaderboards. On top of that, there's a new mode in Super Mario Maker 2 that'll let you play together with others. In Course World, you can enjoy multiplayer with other players from around the world. Interesting. In multiplayer versus mode, up to four players face off in a side-scrolling showdown. Each player will be assigned a different character. Then they'll race each other in a randomly selected course. The player who clears the course first wins. Depending on your win-loss ratio, your versus rating will change. Playing it safe is no way to win in a white knuckle course like this one. Watch the others eat your dust as you escape an extreme obstacle. But when a boss comes around, you may want to put your differences aside. Maybe you can get away with sitting back and stealing all the credit at the end. During multiplayer, there are strategies to consider that would never come up during solo play. Yeah, basically, uh, uh, ways to screw your In multiplayer co op oh, mode, on the other hand, all players must work together to beat the course. If a single player finishes it, everyone's a winner. If a 
up to four players are hanging out together, and each has a Nintendo Switch system and the Super Mario Maker 2 game, one can set up a virtual room for the others to join via nearby play. Nice. The player who makes the room needs a persistent internet connection for everyone to play. You won't be rated in this mode, but you can check out the standings. By the way, if you've designed a course with versus play in mind, consider using the multiplayer versus tag. It's a great way to help players who love to battle it out find what you've made. that's exclusive to members. The Nintendo Switch Game Voucher Special Offer. Paid Nintendo Switch Online members can buy a pair of Nintendo Switch Game Vouchers for just $99.99. Each voucher can be redeemed for an eligible digital game. Choose from some of your favorite Nintendo Switch titles. For example, redeem one voucher to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 and use the other to download Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And you save $19.99 from the combined suggested retail price for this pair of games. Mm. This special offer is a great way to pre-purchase Super Mario Maker 2 at a discount and get a discounted game to play while you wait for its release. Mm. For more information about this special offer, visit Nintendo.com. Vouchers are redeemable for one year from the date of purchase and don't have to be used at the same time. Folks with a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership can buy and redeem Nintendo Switch game vouchers via Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch, as well as the game store on Nintendo.com with a PC or smart device. Oh, and one more thing, we're pleased to announce the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational 2019 Tournament. Tune in for exciting live competitive gameplay on June 8th. For more details and ticketing info, visit e3.nintendo.com. All right. All right, so... Yeah. All right. Well, I have to admit, I am excited. Hey, that is going to be a very good game to play. <laughs> hey, hey, that is going to. Hey, I did enjoy the original, and this one looks like it's going to have a ton more, or customization. Hey, I am. Well, before I get to that, I mean, this one definitely looks like a, a, a lot more way ways to make it, it courses. There's a lot more uh, options, definitely, and definitely, and basically just a lot more ways to express your creativity, creativity, and maybe if you heard me, but me there, but a lot more ways to ways to just create really, really hard courses, 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 and we all know, and I know for a fact there's going to be some of those people out there. Who are just going to, who are, are going to take advantage of everything that, that's here and just make them the most, most difficult, punishingly difficult courses. But enough about that. Yeah, as I was about to say earlier, I am a little bit worried about how the content they're going to deal with the content because in the original, or, or they had this really odd system where. I guess you had to keep the game going, going to get, you need to constantly get new items, items for your items or parts for your courses, which I thought was kind of stupid. So I am a little worried about that. Yeah. 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 And I hope they don't do anything like that. Uh, 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 maybe. I mean, who knows? Maybe the story mode, maybe in story mode, they'll have special ways to unlock things. 
but uh, 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 yeah, uh, maybe if everything will be unlocked in story mode, which would be kind of cool. And I have to admit, I'm impressed that they're making story mode or, or have a story mode. So, or, or I mean, is it necessary to have a story mode in Super Mario Maker? Probably not. Uh, but uh, it is it is impressive that they are ha have one. So, in fact, you know this. Uh, it almost the other one now, Super Mario Maker the original almost. It almost feels like a feels like a prototype. I, I, I not a beta like a, a prototype. Like they were like they did test it, test it. They were testing things, things and. In, in, in they were testing how it would be received with the Wii U who, who version and basically tested testing what in how players would uh, uh, the kinds of how players would like it and the kind of courses and obviously and obviously he, he, this one is definitely is definitely go, uh, going to be uh, uh, sorry lost my train of thought there bring here uh, bring here uh, Anyway, as I was about to say, this one is, is definitely more creator friendly, I should say. And not like the original wasn't, but this one, and I, and I guarantee you, give it a few, once the release it comes, give it a few days, or maybe a week or two, and I guarantee you, we will see some crazy courses. And also, I can't wait to watch uh, uh, people on YouTube play this. But yeah, and th now that I mentioned Wii U, one thing I am a little uh, uh, concerned about the Wii U how, with the Wii U Mario and the stylus for the Wii U gamepad, Mario Maker that just seemed built for Mario Maker. Now, well, honest, I know it. Uh, that, and I do wonder how they're going to deal with uh, changing control schemes, since the, since the Switch has no stylus. Yes, I mean, maybe, yes, now, me, personally, I'll be probably playing this in handheld mode, just because, as uh, so you can use the touch screen, and that touch screen, because that's how I, did, how I played Mario Maker, or, or at least the original on the Wii U, but, yeah, I'll probably be playing Mario Maker. And this in handheld mode, but yeah, I cannot wait. Cause there's just a lot. There is just a lot, a lot, a lot of fun here. <laughs> so yeah, that was my reaction and thoughts to us to the Super Mario Maker 2 trailer. And well, that about wraps up for this video. My name is Second One Eight Fourteen. Thank you so much for watching. May window always be at your back. See you next time.